is everybody doing? I'd like to share my Victorinox Alox collection. I like the Alox um, Swiss Army knives. They're a lot tougher than the 91. What a standard type with the Celador scales. Um, I just love the alloy scales and I love the different colours that they offer. So let's check them out right now. These three here are 84 millimeters. These are very neat and not offensive really. Here you have the, the Bantam. It's just got a single blade. Very slim. And it also has the cap remover, wire stripper, and the flathead, which is angled, that can be used as a Phillips. Um, it's a lovely. Next up is a Cadet, and this is in black Alox. It's got no curing, it's kind of a limited edition. You have the Flathead, cap remover, wire stripper, can opener, small flathead. You have the large blade, and then here you've got the nail file. There's another one here in silver. Very nice. Same features, this one has the key ring, obviously. Nice little pocket knife and yeah, very handy for everyday use. I prefer the 93mm overall, they're my favourite and I also prefer them over the 91 just like the scales. I know you don't get the toothpick and the tweezer but you know I have enough of those. Um, yeah these are lovely. You might notice as well that the blades are thicker on these models, as far as I know. This is the Pioneer Solo. Um, it's very, very simple. And there's just something about it, you know, it's just a single blade. Ideal for peeling an apple. Or there's a whack off that spring. Um, yeah, very, very nice. This is the Pioneer Pruner. It's got a normal... head blade and it's got the, the hawk bill blade. Oh, very very cool. This is just the Pioneer. Very similar to its smaller cadet cousin. Main blade but it's got the the all which is very very nice as well this one here is the electrician I love this I love the blue again typical um, your main blade also has the all but this one has is the sheep's foot Blade with the wire stripper built in. Very, very nice. Love this knife, one of my favorites. And if I lost it, I'd be devastated. Well, I would just go out and buy another one. So here we have the Pioneer X. This was the first of the Alox to have the scissors. Again, typical. Your main blade, and you've got the all, but you have the scissors, the Pioneer X, X because of the scissors, isn't it? very nice to have. 
it is absolutely beautiful. And finally, this is the farmer. I had this in my pocket for about three years. I was working in the auto industry and this one took quite a battering. I was a bit heavy handed with it actually. Um, it's got a little bit of damage to the tools. I think the um, small flathead has slightly twisted. Yeah, I've been doing stuff with number plates and stuff like that. Um, unboxing brand new cars, you know, slicing the plastic off the seats and stuff. And when they come out of the factory, there's um, a ton of stuff inside them that you've got to get rid of and stuff. So this this knife was on my belt. It actually used um, wear its way through my jeans. <laughs> it's got the saw. Yeah, really nice. There's a Farmer X as well, I think. So the far there's a Farmer with the. Um, Farmer with the scissors, Got the awl there, a little bit of damage to the tip of the awl. I must, I must sharpen this one up as well. Main blade as well, I damaged the tip. You know, if you look closely, you'll just see little bits of damage. But, um, you know, you can just tap it very gently on a vise and straighten it back up. But this is um, exceptional value for money. You know, it's very robust and, you know, I kind of, you know, had a little lack of respect for it, I guess, you know, I was a bit heavy handed, but when you're, when you're busy, you kind of tend to do, do, do those things. Uh, so that's it. That's my ALOX collection. I can't think of anything else to say about them. Uh, that I just love them and I would never get rid of them. And, uh, yeah, they're special. I have a lot more mass on these now than I have the plastic scale type, but there's only one more. Hunter Pro. I just bought this to have it. Um, I just I would never kind of walk around the place with it and stuff like that. If I was going away camping, maybe I'd use it and stuff. But uh, this is a beauty. The red Alox is stunning, and um, you know it's a big knife. It's quite intimidating, so you know it's not one that you would carry around in public. Uh, but it's fine piece of cutlery as they say so yeah that's my alox um, i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching feel free to subscribe and take care